One Urbana-based artist is mixing retro fantasy with the grotesque. From B-movie prints to shrink and ink earrings, storyteller Aaron Valley has more on the way. Sophie McMahon explores the softer side of creepy. Basically, my work is kind of like a love letter to all of my favorite things. Since she was a little girl, artist Sophie McMahon has been drawn to the colors and fantasies of mid-century America. I really love like horror movies and vintage monsters. I've got the creature from the Black Lagoon on my shirt now. Um, so I, I like to just um, mesh together like all of the things I love. Online, Sophie's audience of 20,000 followers know her by her business name, Dreaming of Johnny. Her feed is a bright mix of the 60s-inspired goodies she's created. And fans of B-movies, comics, and hair and beauty can get lost in a vintage dream world. But underneath the pop and color of her Americana designs, Sophie says there's a darkness. As much as I love, like a lot of these old kind of idealized photographs and advertisements from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, I know what sort of real life is like, and it's never as, you know, beautiful or as perfect as it appears. Sophie's work explores a duality many of us know, that feeling of being attracted to and repulsed by something all at once. Her art begs the question, is this a retro fantasy or a slimy nightmare? You know, like I've struggled a lot with image and all kinds of stuff. And so it's like, even though I admire these women so much and this look and the hair and the makeup and the colors, I also kind of hate it at the same time because I hate what it stands for, but I'm still so drawn to it. But of all the art Sophie produces, alternative comics and graphic novels have a special place in her heart. In fact, when she first discovered works like Ghost World by Daniel Klaus, she knew she was up for a different challenge. When I saw the comic and his other sort of comic work, it completely like flipped my life around and changed my life. And I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. <laughs> A compilation of comics from her series, You Were Swell, just sold out online. And now Sophie's got her sights set on her upcoming work, The Venus Pill. It's so gratifying um, having people positively react to my work. Um, it makes me feel so good, and I'm glad, you know, I can make somebody, you know, laugh or think a little bit. I've been able to make some really good friends through it. Friends and lovers, that is. Kentucky native Justin Berkeley went from fan to fiance when he discovered Sophie's work online. The two started chatting after Justin placed an order for t-shirts, enamel pens, and comics from Sophie's Etsy shop. Um, he added me on Facebook, and we would talk a little bit here and there, but then we started to message more and more, and uh, yeah, now, like three and a half years later, he's living here and we're engaged. And <laughs> uh, but yeah, we would have never, our paths would have never crossed um, if he hadn't seen my work.